Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to have our lecture number 24 and the same usual routine. Let's have a recap that what we have studied in lecture number 23. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have covered so far the climate change issue. In 2021, 22, 23, we have been talking about payments for ecosystem services. And the last lecture was basically a comparison of three official documents that is uh, has been uh, communicated by the government of Pakistan and uh, one was in 2003 the second one was in 2010 and then we had our climate change policy that was in 2011 we made a comparison using the discourse analysis and what we find out that there were quite of quite a lot of uh, disconnects between the public policy and uh, lastly, we talked about climate change policy, indeed, uh, quite a comprehensive policy which has covered quite a lot, but it tells us what to do, but it doesn't tell us how to do it. So that was uh, with reference to lecture number 23, what we have covered. And uh, as a policy manager, I think it was quite important because climate change, as I say, it is far more uh, important after the war on terror as governor zaman chaudhary has been saying that but uh, we as uh, students of public administration we need to realize that once we are making these policies once we are looking at the natural resource management once we are looking at different issues one of the major cross-cutting thing is going to be climate change and no matter what either it's social political economic uh, cultural climate change is going to impact all of it now the beauty is that as a policy maker as a planner we have to connect it that how in the long run it is going to impact people's lives and when we are making these policies when we are trying to come up with new frameworks believe me we have to include climate change that's why we did discussed uh, in quite detail that what is climate change what has been its implications with reference to Pakistan what are the major uh, stakeholders involved in it and lastly like uh, it is remarkable that we have our climate change policy and uh, we again need to find out the loopholes because when we are applying the such policies we need to be very careful that either you are just benefiting a particular community you are just benefiting a particular stakeholder because it's basically a social outcome so that was uh, so far today the lecture is going to take a little bit different tone reason being that uh, our female students will be more involved into it not that i will be talking against our male students but basically what i'm trying to uh, bring out is uh, the component of gender because given the time perspective jaise jaise time guzarta ja raha hai waise waise this gender part is gaining a lot of importance earlier it was basically if someone were talking about women they would say oh you are a feminist a feminist hote 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 women rights ke baare mein baatein karte hue discrimination not uh, just uh, trying to ignore it or not trying to uh, make a joke out of it but yes women have been uh, like degraded they have been considered inferior alpha male hum samajhte the samajhte hain yes there are, that's another a bitter reality that people think that the men think that they are superior and wo jo equality ka concept wo khatam kar dete hain so therefore uh, it has been quite an important uh, aspect so feminism se hote hote then uh, kuch philosophers kuch researchers nikle and uh, environmental philosophy can then and they started connecting women with environment as i always uh, in, used to ask you the question that we say that okay it's the mother nature but where is the father because father ko consider kiya the man ko consider kiya jata that okay he is not connected with environment uske andar wo motherly nature aa nahi sakti it's very true now uh, the today's lecture 
इट्स ऑफ टू पार्ट्स कि पहला वाला इट्स मोर ऑफ अ फिलोसॉफिकल एंड दिस वाज वन ऑफ माय पेपर्स एंड द टाइटल ऑफ द पेपर इज इको फेमिनिज्म एंड मूवमेंट्स फ्रॉम नॉर्थ टू साउथ व्हाट आई हैव ट्राइड कि जी विमेन को या जेंडर को हम किस तरह एनवायरनमेंट के साथ इंटररिलेट करते हैं एंड व्हाट हैज बीन द रोल ऑफ वेमेन इन टर्म्स ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल सस्टेनेबिलिटी इन टर्म्स ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल इम्प्रूवमेंट most of you might be already knowing about it but agar nahi to this paper is uh, will be uh, in your kit and yeah, yeah read this paper and uh, you will understand ki north mein kis tarike se environmentalism khawatin ne start kiya so they start calling it as the eco feminism movement it's a new concept not very new but pakistan ke reference se when i started looking looking into this uh, issue I felt that we are still lagging behind. उसके अंदर मैंने different case studies ली that I'll share it with you as our lecture continues. But let's start. के जो first portion है lecture का, जो first thirty thirty five minutes हैं वो हमने कहाँ पे spend करने हैं? The first one was that what is the concept of eco feminism and its movement? Because they think that कुछ researchers, कुछ philosophers ये कहते हैं कि eco feminism is a movement. फिर वेमेन और एनवायरनमेंट क्या कोई वाकई इनके दरमियान कोई कनेक्शन है ठीक है देन इकोलॉजी एंड फेमनिज्म दोनों के अंदर जो हम लैंग्वेज यूज करते हैं जब आप इकोलॉजी की बात करते हैं और जब सेपरेट एक फेमनिज्म की बात करते हैं तो द लैंग्वेज इज सिमिलर और दैट इज डिफरेंट और बाद में कौन कौन सी हमारे पास इकोलॉजिकल मूवमेंट्स आई और उसके बाद उनका क्या रोल था एंड उन मूवमेंट्स को हम नॉर्थ से लेके यानी यू एस से लेके देन वी विल ब्रिंग इट इन टू साउथ एशिया और फिर अफ्रीका फिर काफ़ी मैं आपको सैर करवाऊँगा एंड देन वी मूव इन टू दिस कंक्लूजन कि जी क्या इको फेमनिज्म का रोल है उसके बाद देन वी विल टॉक अबाउट वेमेन एंड डिजास्टर्स दैट इज द सेकंड पार्ट और इंटरनेशनल डेक्लेशन के अंदर वॉट हैज बिन दांस विद रेफरेंस टू वेमेन नाउ गांधी जी पहले भी मैंने आपको एक गांधी की एक बात बताई थी रिगार्डिंग कल्चर एंड अगेन यू माइट से कि वाई आई एम ऑलवेज कोटिंग आई थिंक इज उन्होंने कम बातें की बट मैारी बातें कर गए एंड वॉट ही सेड दैट वॉज वन सास्ट वेन वी प्लान फॉर आर कंट्री वॉट शुड वी रिमेंबर द मोस्ट एंड ही सेड द थिंक ऑफ द लास्ट मैन ही रिप्लाइड एंड एक्सपीरियंस हैज टॉट अस हाउ एवर दैट द लास्ट मैन इज इन वेरेबली अ वुमेन राइट Now, this particular Homo sapien has uh, vital importance in a man's life. Yani man ko lane wali hi khatun hoti hai. ठीक है. उसके बाद, if you look at the scriptures, अगर आप कुराने हकीम में देखें, तो जो मर्तबा अल्लाह ताला ने माँ को, औरत को दिया है, I don't think so. उन्हें किसी और को ऐसा दिया हो. like highly gave a status even in the world when we look at their status so they have a very crucial and an important part in man's life so agar hum isko dekhe ki bhi ye concept jo eco feminism ka hai ye aaya kahan se jab hum gender and natural resource management ki baat karte hain to we are connecting women with nature सो इको फेमनिज्म भी एक टर्म नॉलेजी आती है तो दिस कॉन्सेप्ट वॉज बेसिकली स्टार्टेड बाय दिस फ्रेंच गाय एंड इट वॉज यू बॉर्न और उसने नाइनटीन सेवेंटी फोर में इसने कहा जी इको फेमनिज्म इज देर एंड ही सेड कि जी दीज आर टू एंड सबॉर्डिनेट्स यानी जिस तरह वेमेन और नेचर वेमेन एंड एनवायरमेंट मूव टूगेदर अगर Uh, he says that okay you have to look it from a different lens now what that lens is ke ji agar hamari environment in these 23 lectures ek hum baat constantly bolte rahe hain that environment is degrading environment is becoming bad let's think about it let's do something about it so on the other side what he has proposed ke women ka bhi yahi haal hota ja raha hai like they are not getting the right status that they should have been unki bhi jo inferiority badhti ja rahi hai theek hai so he says ke women or environment ye kya hai dono 
कॉम्प्लीमेंट कर रहे हैं अगर इन्वायरमेंट बुरी होती जा रही है तो वेमेन का भी स्टेटस वहां से क्या होता जा रहा है डेप्रिशिएट कर रहा है एंड देन वेन दे स्टार्टेड कनेक्टिंग दी सेवेंटीज के अंदर उन्होंने इसको कनेक्ट किया वेमेन को जेंडर को इन्वायरमेंट को साथ साथ तो देन यू विल फाइंड ऑल दीज नेम्स नैश वॉरन लेहा क्यूमो सुले डायमंड एंड उसके बाद इसकी जो बुक थी इमरजेंस ऑफ इको फेमिज्म के अंदर इट्स अ ब्रिलियंट रीडिंग अगर आपके कहीं पे कभी आपको एक्सेस होती है या यू गेट द ई बुक ऑफ दिस डू रीड इट एंड यू वुड रियलाइज दैट ओके द वे दिस पर्सन हैज रिटन द बुक एक कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट डायमेंशन दे देता है यू स्टार्ट बिलीविंग यू लाइक ही हैज मेड यू बिलीव दैट ओके दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इको फेमिज्म इज रियली इंपॉर्टेंट एनी वे तो दिस है कि जी इट्स अ मूवमेंट जिस तरह एक फेमिनिज्म की एक मूवमेंट आई थी तो सिमिलरली इको फेमिनिज्म भी एक मूवमेंट है अब यहां पे आपकी डिबेट चलती रहती है दट शैल वी कॉल इको फेमिनिज्म एज अ मूवमेंट और इट्स स्टिल इट एन एम्ब्रॉयक स्टेज अगर अभी वो स्टार्ट नहीं हुई अभी आप उसको ये नहीं कह सकते कि इट्स अ मूवमेंट ठीक देन अब जब हम बात करते हैं दैट इकोलॉजी और फेमिनिज्म दोनों की लैंग्वेज क्या है कॉमन है अब लैंग्वेज इन द सेंस के जी ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ सिस्टम हैव इक्वल वैल्यू अगर आप इकोलॉजी में देखें तो इवन अ स्मॉल इंसेक्ट इफ यू पुल इट आउट आपका पूरा जो फूड वेब है आपकी जो पूरी फूड चेन है आपका जो टोटल इकोलॉजी वो चेंज हो जाएगी यानी एवरी पार्ट इन इकोलॉजी विच इज द होल इन्वायरमेंट इट हैज equal importance every uh, plant insect animal man they are given some roles and responsibilities which are they doing and which is actually bringing balance agar inme se koi ek actor ko aap nikal de so aapka there will be ecological imbalance theek hai so now similarly they say gender ke andar jab hum baat karte hain to men and women are equal ठीक है वी कांट से कि जी दिस वन इज अ सुपीरियर एंड शी इज इन्फीरियर और शी इज सुपीरियर ही इज इन्फीरियर यू हैव टू टेक बोथ ऑफ देम वेमेन को आपने इक्वालिटी पे लेना है यू कांट ट्रीट देम एज अ सेकेंड रेटेड ठीक सो इन दिस वे दे से कि जी ऑल पार्ट ऑफ द सिस्टम हैव इक्वल वैल्यू कि दोनों चाहे वो नेचर में ले लो हर चीज की वैल्यू has its own significance either you can take it in women or men they have their equal importance you have to assign equal value you can't say that they uh, they are more superior then earth is a home ab jab earth ki hum baat karte hain to ye jitni bhi biodiversity hai sara ye unka kya hai earth kya hai ye unka ghar hai theek hai and the biodiversity is supposed to take care of the earth सिमिलरली इफ यू लुक एट योर मदर इफ यू लुक एट योर वाइफ इफ यू लुक एट योर डॉटर वो कहते हैं ना अगर इफ अ मैन इज हैविंग अ हाउस इट विल बी टोटली डिसऑर्गेनाइज लेकिन द मोमेंट अ वुमेन स्टेप्स इन टू द हाउस इट बिकम्स टोटली ऑर्गेनाइज सो वो कहते हैं कि जी अर्थ इज अ होम जिसने एक खातून का घर होता है उसकी हेवन इसी तरह नेचर इस तरह बायोडाइवर्सिटी की अर्थ है so they both have to take care of the house and when these uh, when the woman is in the house there is no chaos there is peace they just organize thing they bring some uh, what is it the aesthetic sense hai wo kehte hain band mardon mein to hai nahi theek hai na they just see every color the same either it's black or it's white or it's gray or it's blue they don't see beyond than that ab pata nahi rang barange hote ja rahe hain नाओ वो ऑरेंज भी पहन लेते हैं येलो भी पहन लेते हैं बट इन माई एज ड्यूरिंग माई टाइम्स दीज वर द मैंस कलर बट एनी वे सो वॉट दिस इज के शी इज फॉर हर होम इज द बेसिक सेंचुरी जहाँ पे वो सारी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लेके आती है सिमिलरली so औरत का ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के साथ बड़ा तलक है हारमनी के साथ उसको असाइन किया गया है देन प्रोसेस इज प्राइमरी किसी भी चीज को if you want to uh, have anything may it be 
in terms of cup food ho gaya may it be air ho gaya may it be any product that you are having anything wo ek process se guzrega nature ko bhi le le ya aap ye feminism ko bhi le le ek process hai you can't say ki ji without a process the things has a, uh, uh, emerged feminism bhi ek process se aaya theek hai इकोलॉजी का भी ये जो बैलेंस है ये प्रोसेस से आता है बैलेंस ठीक है और एंड में अगर हम बात करते हैं कि देर इज़ नो फ्री लंच लंच इज़ यहाँ पे फ्री नहीं है यू हैव टू पे द प्राइस अगर आपने अपने आप को यू हैव टू ब्रिंग योर सेल्फ इन टू द लाइम लाइट यू हैव टू मेक एन एफर्ट यू कॉन्ट अक्वायर एनी थिंग फॉर फ्री द मॉनिटरी वैल्यू इज ऑलवेज असाइंड इफ यू रिकॉल पी ई एस इसी वजह से हम कहते हैं पेमेंट्स और इको सिस्टम आप करें अब इकोलॉजिकल मूवमेंट्स जब आई और उसके अंदर औरतों का क्या रोल था सो वॉट वी से जी द मार्केट पावर दैट मार्केट्स हैव ड्रिवन द होल सिस्टम जब हम मार्केट की बात करते हैं यू नो द डेफिनेशन और ये जो मूवमेंट्स जब आई हैं तो वहाँ पे आपकी मार्केट्स का बहुत ज़्यादा बिहेवियर बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग रहा है उसके बाद अगर आप नॉर्थ में देखें If you look at things in the north, they are a little bit different as compared to south. But you can't say that things in north are highly peaceful. Like women in USA are much more respected as compared to women in Pakistan. No, वहाँ पे भी there are pockets. वहाँ पे भी discrimination होती है. वहाँ पे भी मियाँ बीवी लड़ते हैं वहाँ पे भी वेमेन आर कॉल्ड हिस्टेरिकल मैन दिस आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इन्वायरमेंट उसके बाद वहाँ पर भी ऑलमोस्ट द सेम प्रॉब्लम्स इट इज़ द सेम थिंग मैन आई मीट पीपल एंड वंस वी वर बैक फ्रॉम यू एस एंड पीपल वुड से वेल वी डोंट सी पॉवर्टी एंड दे स्टार्ट कम्प्लेनिंग अबाउट कराची दे स्टार्ट कम्प्लेनिंग अबाउट लाहौर के जी मोबाइल स्नैचिंग हो रही है वहाँ पर एंड यू वॉन्ट बिलीव दैट इवन इन द डिवेलप्ड द सो कॉल्ड डिवेलप्ड कंट्रीज दे ऑल्सो सफ़र फ्राम द सेम प्रॉब्लम अगर आप नॉर्थ को ले लें साउथ को ले लें ठीक है द लिविंग डिवेलपमेंट इंडसीज है वहाँ पर थोड़ा सा बेहतर हो गया है लेकिन वॉट डू यू थिंक कि वहाँ पर थेफ्ट नहीं होता वो डू यू थिंक वहाँ पे पीपल वो डिसरिस्पेक्ट नहीं करते वहाँ पे मोबाइल स्नैचिंग नहीं होती ओवर दे आर पीपल वुड किल यू फॉर अ पेयर ऑफ जॉगर्स जस्ट बिकॉज यू हैव यू आर वेरिंग अ नाइस पेयर ऑफ स्नीकर्स दे वुड शूट यू क्राइम वहाँ पे भी है यू कांट से जी पुलिस वहाँ पे बिल्कुल फारक बैठी रहती बिकॉज इट सच अ डिवेलप्ड सोसाइटी नो इट्स नॉट पॉलिसीज वहाँ पे भी फेल होती हैं इट्स नॉट लेट्स स्टार्ट पुटिंग फिंगर ऑन आर कंट्री के जी एवरी थिंग इज गेटिंग रॉन्ग इन पाकिस्तान टेररिज्म वहां पे भी होता है एवरी प्लेस हैज सम क्रॉनिक काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट वहां पे भी होगी वहां पे भी हार्वर्ड ग्रेजुएट और स्टैनफर्ड ग्रेजुएट विल स्टे अनएम्प्लॉयड पाकिस्तान में भी ये हो रहा है बट मे बी द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द लेवल इज डिफरेंट सो वहां पे भी नॉर्थ में अगर हम कहते हैं कि जी वेमेन आर वेरी एक्टिव इन टर्म्स ऑफ एनवायरमेंटलिज्म यहाँ पे भी हैं आई डोंट कॉल इट एज द एनवायरमेंटलिज्म बट द फर्स्ट फ्रॉम वेयर आर द बेसिस ऑफ आर पाकिस्तानी एनवायरमेंटल प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट वो स्टार्ट ही वहाँ से होता है शैला जहाँ के केस से अ वोमेन बंदे ने तो कभी नहीं आ गई बिजली की तारे ऊपर से जा रही हैं तो आई डोंट थिंक सो नाउ आई कैन सर्वाइव और माई ऑर्गन आर गोइंग टू बी मिस डिसफंक्शनल इट वॉज द वेमेन हु एक्चुअली फाइल द केस एंड शी सेट के बी दीज हाई टेंशन वायर्स दे आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ प्रॉब्लम एंड एट द फर्स्ट टाइम इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ पाकिस्तान वी स्टार्ट थिंकिंग कभी हमें इन्वायरमेंटल लॉज चाहिए सो इट वॉज द वोमेन सो दे आर फोर वेन वी कंपेयर नॉर्थ वर्स इज साउथ यस North might be इस रेस के अंदर इट माइट बी टेन किलोमीटर्स अ हेड बट इट हैज द सेम प्रॉब्लम द वे वी डू पीपल स्टिल वहाँ पर भी लोग सोते हैं विदाउट फूड वहाँ पर भी अनएम्प्लॉयड हैं वहाँ पर भी होमलेस लोग हैं एंड इफ यू यू माइट हैव सीन द सी एस आईज ठीक है ना क्रिमिनल को आप देखते हैं एंड यू फील लाइक अभी हाउ इट इज डिफरेंट so therefore 
North versus South care perspective and what I always say is that yes, we have almost the same kind of problems. Take climate change ne Europeans or Americans ko bhi utna hi effect karna jitna usne Pakistanis ko effect karna. So it's not going to be different, right? Now, uh, you do technology hai, steam roller effect of a technological modernization. Jaise jaise aapke technology hai, we say that it was a blessing in disguise. Yes, things have become better. But we have started feeling as if technology on my nose villa is a, with a small G, is like a small god. It has every solution. And if you talk to people who come, well, koi na koi technology aa jayegi. If you have seen Iron Man, ab, uh, it was a prototype, it was a movie, and uh, now they have actually created an Iron Man. Right? You can wear that suit and you can fly, and but I think you need 100 hours training in order to get into that suit. So, whatever we start feeling, we feel that technology is a solution to all that. That is the positive sense. But then, the way we have started manipulating the technology, where technology is a blessing, sometimes technology becomes a curse. We are so much dependent upon technology that your phone gum ho jai and uh, we feel handicapped. I remember in my wallet, when I was in class 6, we used to carry a phone book, just we had phone numbers and it would hardly get lost. We diaries, phone diaries maintained. Now how many of you have phone diary? It's finished. Now it's all about iPhones. You have to store the data, you would say, let's put it on the cloud computing humne start karti. we are becoming so much pro technologists technology is a blessing but technology is a curse that it has actually increased the distances i am sitting in this room and my daughter is going to text me that okay dad come for dinner now she can't call me she can't uh, come to my room and ask me technology now uh, we prefer sending an email the touching part is gone shake hand or hugging each other it's gone pinch so the humans are now not getting connected globalization has not connected us but globalization has made us isolated now we feel we have the power with the phone we can do everything but it's just that we have given our lives to our to these gadgets our Kurzweil uh, he is another uh, technologist Kurzweil Kataji there will be a time when man and machine is going to marry each other and I believe this is happening if you look at Japan on get demographic changes are ahead because Men or women are more happy living with robots or machines rather than living with each other. So, yes, it is a blessing, but it's a curse. So, techno technological modernization has changed eco-feminism. Then, as we already discussed, it's a process. Eco-feminism is a movement that has process ke through. Aai hai. It's not something ke just out of a blue. You just dreamt about it and it came out. Now, uh, then we talk about motion as well as emotion. There's a very, uh, word is the same. If you have to a process, then has to be something, if you have to process, then it has movement. Honi so that is the motion. But that motion is totally useless in terms of ecofeminism if there is no emotion. Emotions can't be created in a laboratory. I can't say that today I am sad. So kindly, I, am, I, I can't say I, don't, I want to be sad, so let's have a pill of sad. I want to be happy, let's have smiley face or something like that. Emotions cannot be created. They just come. Or ye kis ke se aate? Just with your interaction with the environment. Uh, it's getting so cold. 
Subha, subha. It's a lovely sunshine is coming through your window and it is just caressing your cheeks and you are so happy. Metric mein nahi aap pass hue. You haven't acquired a good GPA in your paper, but just that sunlight coming through your window has made you happy. Now that is an emotion. That is an expression. A s tiny line from your mother just saying good luck beta for your exam. It is worth millions. Okay, a, a small prayer from your grandmother that okay, uh, wish you best of luck in your life. It just changes your life. So you emotions and they are really necessary. Agi, uh, aage when we are going to talk about ke jo movement sign, it was not just the motion, it was not just the revolution. There was emotion involved. I was reading Pakistan uh, history and uh, it was just through papers. Yes, death swing, sara kuch hua, but aapne kaun si war ladi? Why? Because the motion carried with emotion. So, emotions are very important in driving you. When you say, Kaji, just the, uh, the sight of her makes me crazy and then that is an emotion. So, when we are talking about eco-feminism, Kaji, a movement hai and women are important. So, they say, Ki, it's not just that you just uh, bring things into motion. It carries an emotion. So, that E the letter E with the motion is very important because that is the thrust, that is the driving force which just drives you thousands and thousands of miles without CNG, without petrol. So that emotion is really important. The last one is that your environmental movements are phases. Hai. There are three kinds of phases. In the beginning, it's just that you are talking about the environment. You are feminism ki baat kar and they are in totally separate affairs. Then you start joining them. Then you start connecting them. And then women becomes the row part and parcel in terms of your environment. Now let's talk about it. Let's take you to USA. Again, I'm not going to go into detail for that. You have to read the paper or you have to browse because these are famous case studies and especially the guys, you need to read it at how these movements have actually started and how much women have contributed and you realize that they are more closer to nature. Abhua Yek Love Canal, it's a place and uh, the industrial waste was in the dump ho raha tha. and no one was realizing that the children were getting sicker bamar ho rahe the. and uh, as they were becoming sick no one was even bothered about it and there was just one woman and uh, what she did was she started protesting against it. Usko jail bhi bhej diya ga. They said, ke, ji, isko to hysteria hua hua. Why she is after these industries? And uh, test ho ga, ji, EPA a gai. And they said, ke, ji, this woman is crazy. But all the mothers whose kids were becoming sicker, whose kids were dying, they all got together and they started a movement. And they said, what did they say? Ji, aap ki ye jo hai, jo uh, waste hai, Isko is canal mein na dala jai. And ultimately, that movement became so strong hai, that it actually uh, stopped this thing. And usually, when we US in the US, eco feminism, ji, when women become closer to nature and then they start talking about environment and they are the actually uh, beacon lights of that. So, uh, we always give this uh, example of love canal. So the whole story is there. It's uh, it has lots of books has been written on it. It's documentaries bani hai, movie bhi ek bani hui hai. So if you are interested, you can go into it. But the point that I'm trying to make is that ji, aapka jo north side pe jab USA ko hum specifically lete hain, to wahan se hum love canal ko hum lete hain. This one I already told you the story. 
अगर नहीं सुनी तो जस्ट गो एंड स्टार्ट लुकिंग एट योर प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स बट बेसिकली दिस गायत्री देवी लेट मी जस्ट सी इफ यू कैन वन टू दिस वन यू गो हेर 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 या शी इज दिस वन दिस इज द लेडी हु एक्चुअली स्टार्टेड द चिपकू मूवमेंट और जब ये आए वन दीज पीपल केम टू कट द ट्रीज दिस इज हाउ दे स्टार्टेड दिस ये लेडीज जितनी भी थी दे जस्ट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस पिक्चर वॉट दे डेड वॉज दे जस्ट गैदर अराउंड द ट्री एंड दे स्टार्टेड हगिंग और यहाँ से मूवमेंट स्टार्ट हो जाती है चिपकू मूवमेंट दे कॉल इट एज द ट्री हगर्स एंड यहाँ पे गायत्री देवी की एक स्टेटमेंट बड़ी मजे की है वॉट शी सेज वॉज वोट द वेमेन सेज वो दे मैन जस्ट एक्सपेक्ट टू बी सर्वड कुकड फूड दे आंट बॉदर्ड अबाउट वेयर द फायर वुड कम्स फ्राम एंड शी सेज दिस इज आर प्रॉब्लम दैट मैन डोंट रियलाइज उनको सिर्फ कुकड फूड चाहिए दे डोंट नो कि कहाँ से वोट आया कहाँ से पानी आया दे आर ड्रिंकिंग वाटर सो वेमेन आर मोर क्लोज टू नेचर दैट्स द पॉइंट दैट दे आर मेकिंग बट इंडिया में अगर आप देखें दे से दिस ट्री हगिंग और दिस चिपकू इट्स नॉट अ मूवमेंट दिस इज दैट वी डोंट कॉल इट एज अ मूवमेंट इन इंडियन अफेयर्स दे वोट कॉल चिपकू मूवमेंट एज एन पॉइंट ऑफ इको फेमिनिज्म वी कॉल इट एज द मूवमेंट अमेरिकन ने इसको मूवमेंट के तौर पर कहा लेकिन दे स्टिल आर्ग्यू अबाउट इट अब ये आ जाती हैं ग्रीन बेल्ट मूवमेंट ये किनिया के अंदर आई मे हर सोल रेस्ट इन पीस शी जस्ट पास्ट अवे अयर गो एंड वॉट शी डेड वॉज के जी किनिया के अंदर शी स्टार्टड प्लांटिंग द ट्रीज और उसने हर ट्राइब के गिर्द ट्रीज स्टार्ट कर प्लांट करना शुरू कर दिया एंड दो ट्रीज नॉट ओनली प्रोटेक्टेड दैम फ्रॉम वाइल्ड एनिमल्स लोअर द टेम्परेचर अराउंड एंड इट एक्चुअली जस्ट मेड द एफ्रीका ग्रीन सो वो कहते हैं जी इट्स अ ग्रीन बेल्ट मूवमेंट और ये कीनिया के अंदर स्टार्ट हुई इंडिया का मैंने आपको एक और एग्जाम्पल बताया था दैट दे हैव स्टार्टड आई लव पुट दैट इन योर दिस प्रिपरेशन किट ऑल्सो दैट स्टोरी इट केम इन द हिंदू टाइम्स वेन आई टॉक्ट अबाउट के वेन अ गर्ल इज बॉर्न तो वो साथ कुछ ट्रीज भी उगाते हैं एंड एज द गर्ल इज ग्रोइंग वो तो ट्रीज भी ग्रो कर रहे होते हैं बाय द टाइम द गर्ल इज एट द एज एज ऑफ मैरिज तो उस ट्रीज से जो फ्रूट हो रहा होता है दैन दे सेल इट एंड दे जस्ट से दैट इज ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल मूवमेंट एंड दैट इज वेरी गेटिंग वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सो आई टेल यू आई शेयर द डिटेल्स इन योर एकेडमिक एट सो थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग लास्ट में आ जाता हूँ वेमेन एंड ट्रीज इन बांग्लादेश मैंने कहा चले अमरीका गए दैन वी वेंट टू इंडिया दैन वी वेंट टू केनिया लेट्स गो टू बांग्लादेश अब बांग्लादेश का इफ यू लुक एट द पेपर विच आई एम रेफरिंग टू विच आई एम शेयरिंग वहाँ भी हुआ दैट शी सेड वेन द इंटरव्यू वॉज मेड टू वन ऑफ द वुमेन शी सेड दैट आई डोंट नीड सन्स आई नीड ट्रीज एंड पीपल व लाइक वाई ट्रीज शी सेड दैट बाई द टाइम आई गेट आई एम आई डाई तो इसी दरख्त को काट के इसके वोट को बेच के आई कैन स्टिल बी बरेड but my son is not going to take care of it so women are women says that trees are basically our long term investments trees actually take care of us even after when we die so they don't believe in these biological relations of these sons or your daughters they say that at least nature hai jo hame sara kuch provide karti hai so that is story of uh, bangladesh now let's come to pakistan Pakistan ke andar uh, we did talked about that uh, when we went to Indus Delta jab hum Kati Bandar ka case padhe the that women and children are highly participative in planting of the mangrove forests they are growing the mangrove for they are growing the mangroves they participate in these campaigns and then it's the women who are becoming unki puri fishermen ki लोकेलिटी है उनका फिशर फोक जो है फिशर वेमेन जो है उनके अपना एक पूरा ग्रुप है एंड वॉट दे आर लुकिंग इन टू के जी फिश को किस तरीके से 
uh, किया जाए एंड वेमेन फिशरमैन आर सपोज टू बी मच बेटर एज कम्पेयर टू मैन फिशरमैन बिकॉज दे हैव दैट एलिमेंट ऑफ कनेक्टिंग विद द नेचर उसके बाद हमने ये भी पढ़ा शेयर दर के स्टडी इन द शिगर वैली दैट वेमेन आर इन्वॉल्व इन दे इन ब्रिंगिंग फायरवुड वेमेन आर इन्वॉल्व इन ब्रिंगिंग वाटर यू विल नेवर से सी कि एक बंदे ने मटका पकड़ा हुआ पानी लेके आ रहा है इन द थरपारकर डेजर्ट इज द वेमेन हु आर ब्रिंगिंग वाटर सो जैसे जैसे डिस्टेंस ज्यादा होता जा रहा है सो वेमेन नो उसके जी पानी की शॉर्टेज आ रही है जैसे जैसे फ्यूल वुड अब उनको नहीं मिल रहा फायर वुड फॉर द फॉर द कुकिंग पर्पज सो दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड कि जी आपका जो डिस्टेंस है द डिस्टेंस फ्राम द फॉरेस्ट यानी फॉरेस्ट आपके डिप्लीट होते जा रहे हैं बिकॉज दे आर मोर क्लोज टू नेचर चिल्ड्रन वेन इट कम्स टू चिल्ड्रन चिल्ड्रन आर मोर क्लोज टू दैम मदर्स सो जब कोई वो डिजीज होती है या जब कोई प्रॉब्लम होती है जब कोई बीमारी आ जाती है जब कोई कीड़ा काट जाता है द फर्स्ट पर्सन दे वुड शेयर इट इज विद द मदर और लेडी दे वोट शेयर इट विद द गाय और मैन सो दे आर फॉर वट दिस इज कि जी वेमेन सबसे पहले रिसेप्टिव होती हैं इन टर्म्स ऑफ नेचर इन टर्म्स ऑफ एनी नेचुरल डिजास्टर सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द केसेज यहाँ पर एक आपने देख रही हैं इन द पिक्चर यू आर लुकिंग एट दीज कॉटन ग्रोअर्स कारन एक रिसर्चर हैं शी इज फ्रॉम द जर्मन ओरिजिन शी हैज़ डन क्वाइट लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च ऑन दीज वेमेन कॉटन पिकर्स और एस टी पी आई के अंदर इनकी पब्लिकेशन भी हैं वॉट शी फाइंड आउट दैट दीज वेमेन इट्स द मैन हु जस्ट ग्रोज और लेकिन वेमेन हैं जो सारा दिन इस कॉटन में से करती हैं एंड दे आर गेटिंग इफेक्टेड जो आप डी डी टी उस पर स्प्रे करते हैं सो दे आर गेटिंग मोर सिकर uh when you are talking about these fuel woods they are the these are the victims who get uh, this bronchitis lungs cancer unko zyada hota hai kyunki unka jo link hota hai when they are actually cooking and everything unka zyada link hota so they are the victims first men ko kuch nahi hota so uh women uh, play a crucial role but again if we say ki ji koi eco feminism aa gaya hai uh, not really Uh, we can't say that we have ecofeminism in Pakistan. I personally think that now environment, go with reference to Pakistan specifically, talking about younger generation. Uh, yes, we are not serious about it. We just take it as a snob effect. We just say, I have come across a number of gatherings. Now we are saying, we are having green drinks. We are having this. Well, if you are sitting in a five-star hotel and you are talking about water shortage, and if you are saying that your water policy is not good, just see yourself the way Gayatri Devi started this Chipku movement, the way uh, this Love Canal movement started. This is how people work. It's not that okay. You are just for to gain some. international attention or you are so free and you have so much for it time to you say okay, let's start talking about environment because nowadays everyone is going green that's not how movements start so in pakistan eco feminism i think abhi dormant se abhi wo ek to tha na nascent stage mein i would think abhi to wo mein mein conception stage pe bhi abhi as such nahi aaya i may be wrong but that's my personal observation given my experience with the environment and uh, the engagement of civil society but still we are quite a miles quite a miles far behind in terms of making eco feminism as a movement now what are the policy interventions we need to have proper property rights in terms of uh, the natural resources we needs to have institutional arrangements in a aapke institution maximum participation honi chahiye in these movements legal system aapka strong hona chahiye aur uske andar environmental tribunals hone chahiye then there is representation women ki representation honi chahiye when we are making decisions with reference to natural resource management abhi tak maine ye nahi baat ki thi that uh we say it should need to be a participative model but it should not be that all the males should be coming there it should be the females because they are more connected they have they go and fetch the water they go and they collect the firewood they are the ones who take their children when they are sick they are the ones who have to suffer through all these health issues 
so uh, they should be main part and parcel in terms of but our cultural barriers are off why you're bringing women into it why do so that kind of issues always uh, they just stuck behind unki representation honi chahiye unki choices ko hame widen karna chahiye aur unko financial independence deni chahiye Uh, there was a study in uh, at MIT. You know, because jitna women ko freedom dete hain in terms of financial independence, utna zada jo men hote hain wo dar ne lag padte hain. If a woman is earning more, men get scared because they think that it is a hit on their intellectuality. But anyway, uh, things work. So conclusion ye hai, uh, jinaab that egg feminism is successful. We have seen that these. Uh, movements have actually become successful and uh, there's a domino effect domino effect in a sense kahan pe uss start hoti hain and now we can see it in bangladesh we can see it in kenya we can see it in india we can see a little bit when these women are representing when these women are having issues with the reference to environment so even in pakistan may it be a snob behavior maybe it is actually happening at the grassroots level so it's it's there and there's a gap between philosophy and action that we realize ki jab philosophy mein hum match hai kitne bhi usko bata dun that how big it is but in reality things become little bit different so theory or practice mein divergence hai so let's see when this gap is going to be uh what jaise kehte hain converged or when it gap going to be shortened but this is what eco feminism in and this is an emerging field in this gender studies jo hum baat karte hain and if uh people if it's to you people are interested in having so that is one of the emerging fields where pakistan ke andar as such kaam nahi hua aur kaam ho bhi nahi raha because eco feminism ka maine waise feminist nahi abhi tak kabu aa rahe so what about the eco feminism so uh, that works out now uh let's see let's now talk about the general gapsha uh women and environment the first one is that women are more vulnerable towards natural hazards they are the key actors in disaster preparedness it is uh take an example barish tez hoti hai it's your mother who is saying that okay oh, close the windows do this do that do that she is is giving you instructions she says ki jo ke apne ye ye kaam karna hai even when i was at uh, doing the field study in the in kt bandar it was the women who were telling ki hum ye ye kaam karte hain when i asked okay what are the mitigating measures that you people take when the floods or cyclones are coming men was silently we just put anchor and that's it hum rassiyan dalte hain but when you talk to women they start to talk about storage they start talk about getting the medicines bringing the cattle inside talking taking care of his children husband ko ye kaam de diya storage kar liya pani le aaye ye sara everything women were doing it so that was pretty amazing then uh, women constitute about 80% of refugee and displaced populations it's a universe it's a global trend and then in emergency situation women and children make 70 to 80% of the needing assistance now why are women more vulnerable let's see now why are women more vulnerable let's see biological social economical differences hamare hote hain women have less access to resources i don't have to explain it but yes we already know that that the resources just were same are you inheritance laws were there behind that is very different women are victims of the gender division of labor we have completely separated women our jafar gatanji she is a working woman we don't say it's a working woman she is also a home decorator she is working in home she is taking care of children she is doing but agar wo kaam karti hai to it's not the man who is actually replacing the work of women women are doing both jobs so they are actually a uh, victim of this gender division then aapne unko pehle hi humne un pe tag laga diya hua that okay it's the women who have to take care of the uh, house theek hai na and uh, that is the birth uh, jo uski duty hai ki the moment she get married she has to be a home decorator she has to be a caregiver she has to take care of the food she has to take care of the clothing she has to take care of children everything hum ne us pe tag laga di hai and that is not a manly thing that you are carry your care your kid that is not a manly thing if you are working in the kitchen that is not a manly thing that if you are washing the clothes something conventional theek hai so early morning systems are oriented towards males sabse pehle we think man of the house ko pata chalna chahiye that to the, the, the this disaster is coming because you feel there well if this macho man is going to stand outside storm is going to just stop 
totally wrong notion. So, जब हम disaster की जब early warning देते हैं, वो भी हम बंदों को देते हैं। खबरदीन को नहीं देते। And then बंदा आके बताएगा, okay, this thing is happening now. Tell me what to do. And then she starts working on on that action plan. After the natural disaster, women are more likely to become victims of domestic and sexual violence. That we what we have seen in Africa. That's what we have seen in Hurricane Katrina and tsunami. Now that was very much. इस पे बहुत studies भी हुई हैं। अगर आप Oxfam को देखो, Care को देखो, जो women organisations हैं, they have done quite a lot of work on it. And migration due to climate change will leave women behind. Then. Women's roles in disaster risk management. Women are the key actors in building, shaping, and sustaining resilient communities. It is the women who actually develop such a resistance. And how women respond to these disasters? They are actually building the houses. They are actually digging the wells. They are actually uh, digging the ditches. They are hauling water and building shelter. And they are, which are more considered as the male tasks. I have seen it even in Islamabad. I have seen it in Lahore. When you go to slums area, it's not the man who is doing it; it's the women who are doing it. And forming groups and networks, which are essential in disaster preparedness and mitigation. So it's the women who are actually. So, a story I read somewhere. Uh, I'm missing the source, but they said that women are better at network as compared to men. Okay, women play uh, decision-making roles in disaster issues. Okay. बंदा तो जैसे कहते हैं ना the men the males they are totally lost they are either running out of the house or they are just talking to other men smoking and telling them कि जब क्या होगा T V पे ये आ गया radio पे आ गया and it's basically the women who are working women and young girls play important roles in their families and communities in terms of health in terms of education in terms of health care again if you just point it out we would say well it's job for women as if she is getting paid. We have not given her PES. There is no payment to a woman when she is making food for you. There is no payment to the woman when she is taking care of your children. There is no payment of the, to the woman when she is taking care of the house. Totally thankless job. So that's why we don't give importance. And then the question raises a very important. That is the ethical problem. Because uh, women make half of the humanity. And they have a greater responsibility. And they suffer more than men from water scarcity and air pollution. I've already told you, particularly in the developing countries. Gender is a very sensitive question, and it is directly related to power and dominance. But I mean, men start thinking as if, if it's a question on their power and dominance. If we start think, saying that women are equal to you, women are no different to you, but they feel that, okay, it's a question of power and dominance. He needs to be the alpha male. <laughs> Well, the gender points out the relationship between men and women, and they say it's basically a social construction in which all human beings organize their work, rights, responsibilities, and relationships, in short, their culture and their civilization. UNESCO kya kehte in terms of gender equality? What UNESCO tells us in terms of uh, gender equality is that gender equality means giving women, men, girls, boys, the same opportunities to participate fully in the development of their societies and to achieve self-fulfillment. Gender equality is essential component of human rights and it is the key of development. That is according to UNESCO. As I said that women are very much closely related with reference to the water. So in developing countries, what happens in developing countries? Water availability is the key of the water. When is the water? When is it? When is it? When is it? When is it? That is only known to women. Family work usually covers one third to one half of the women's working day. Family work is much more difficult as compared to a working woman's work. And in both rural and urban areas, tiring tasks like fetching water that is being done by women. Women are the main users of water for cooking, washing, family hygiene, and sanitation. Here we have women pick out. Which countries can there be that men have greater access to technology, training, engineering than women? If you look at the science of constructionism, there are more men as engineers as compared to women. साइंस की जितनी भी इन्वेंशंस हुई हैं मोस्टली आर डन बाय मेन नॉट वेमेन क्योंकि उसमें भी हमने डिस्क्रिमिनेशन की 
اگر آپ یہ جو کانٹرسیپٹیو پلز ریپروڈکٹیو پروگرامز یہاں پہ ہم زیادہ ٹارگٹ جو گنی پگز رکھتے ہیں ویمن کو رکھتے ہیں ہم نے مین کو نہیں کبھی کیا ایون دو دے آر ایپل پارٹسپنٹ ان ایڈ سو جہاں پہ بھی ہم دیکھتے ہیں وی جس ٹرائی دیٹ اوکے لیٹس سناب دیس پٹیکلر پیس ٹھیک ہے آل دو ویمنز بیٹر انڈرسٹینڈنگ آف نیچرل ویریشنز آف واٹر ویلیبیلیٹی دس نالج اس ٹل سکونڈ اور سمپلی اگنورڈ بائی پالیسی میکرز اور انجینئرز ہوا سٹل یوشلی مین ویمن آر نو مچ مور اباؤٹ کہ پانی کہاں سے آتا ہے کہاں پہ کلین ہے یہ ہے بٹ ان پالیسی میکنگ پروسیس وی مین وی ڈونٹ ایون کنسیڈر دم کنسیڈر دیئر ان پٹس دین ویمن ٹریڈیشنلی آلسو پلے اے میجر رول ان مینیجنگ اینڈ مینٹیننگ کمیونل واٹر سپلائی کس طریقے سے ویمن آر ریسپانسبل فار دا ریگولر سوشل یوز آف سیف مینٹیننس آف واٹر ریسورس یہ جو واٹر ریسورس کو بھی وہ کرتی ہیں اس کے بعد کہ جانوروں کو اپنے کتنا پانی پلانا ہے ڈاؤن اسٹریم کتنا واشنگ کے لیے رکھنا ہے ایوری تھنگ دیٹ از نون بائی وومین ایون ایٹ مائی ہوم مائی وائف آلویز ٹیل می کہ پانی اتنا رہ گیا یو ہیو ٹو مینٹین دس آئی ریلی ڈونٹ نو So that's why I'm very much accepting whatever it's saying. Since there is managerial work is performed informally, women rarely get involved in political and legal processes. It's not the formal thing. So therefore, when strategic decisions are made, then we don't involve women. What do we say about IFAD? That gender perspective is essential in terms of new projects because access of women to resources is disproportionately small relative of that of them UN Commission kya kata hai of women women are increasingly recognized to be the key actors in the conservation and safeguarding of natural sources as managers producers users and intermediaries between the natural environment and society impact of, of environmental degradation on women's life Nairobi ke indar conference hui and us mein kya kata hai women and development cannot be separated from environmental issues so and these issues must be incorporated in policy planning ke women ko policy planning mein bhi involve karna chahiye then ye jo disasters hain ek man made hote hain ek natural disasters hote hain ke jaise jaise disasters ki frequency badhti ja rahi hai to it is making the poor women making the ratio of poor women increasing theek hai aur aapke jo traditional means of livelihoods hain wo aapke khatam hote ja rahe for example committee dalti thi traditional kaam karti thi kt bandar ke andar they used to make these nets uh, in uh, northern areas they would make used to make these uh, uh, sweaters and all that warm warm woolies but now they don't theek hai aapne unse traditional jo unki jo niches thi ya traditional strengths thi we have taken away from the women then environmental degradation of poverty in relation to women's life has been recognized recognized or uni said ki conference we rio mein 1992 mein unhone kya kaha women have vital role in uh, to play in environment management and development their full participation is essential to achieve sustainable development now these are different big conferences in which women have given importance agenda 21 kya kehta hai that women are the main food producers and the environment they play crucial role in agricultural work and in sustainable use of land however might be underestimated their participation is in uh, official economic statistics we don't include that how much women contribute in terms of agricultural growth or manufacturing growth so therefore uh, it's basically that we have to start recognizing their services WHO kya kehta hai that due to the lack of safe drinking water poor sanitation it contribute about 80% of communicable disease particularly among children in Africa aur isme women ko bahut zyada incidence hota hai there is a very strong correlation between moral, uh, mortality rates and Uh, this uh, drinking of uh, bad water and safe water and basic sanitation are major determinants of health as such of development uske baad the jab fourth world conference hui 1995 ke andar unhone kya kaha ki now talk about equitable social development that recognizes empowering the poor particularly women living in poverty to utilize environmental resources sustainably 
and is a necessary foundation for sustainable development. These are different UN conferences, John said. I have pulled out these uh, statements in which it actually portrays that women and environment are closely related. Feminism they are actually driven away from the policy process. We don't include them, but even though they are very uh, important custodians of natural resource management, women have often played a leadership role in promoting environmental ethics producing resource use and recycling resources to minimize waste and excessive consumption women tell us and then uh, usually what we talk sustainable development ki baat karte hain, that doesn't involve women and it will not succeed in the long run so women ko equal access they need chahiye tamam resources ki they should not be considered as secondary so our conclusion comes ki ji jitni bhi aapki conferences hui 1977 se so unne kya kaha ke ji women has a very crucial role in the management of these natural resources okay so uh, women have a very important role and later on women have a rich storehouse in terms of their technical knowledge and that knowledge should be utilized in terms of problem solving in terms of uh, working together with men and women have powerful influence over future attitudes towards the environment women have an important role in promoting new attitude towards the water resources based not only the technical knowledge but also the cultural and ethical values we said that women have more uh, stronger ethics as compared to men so that uh, actually concludes our lecture so to, uh, the major lesson that we'll draw from it that women are away from the policy making process we have to include women in the decision making theek hai women are more closer towards natural resource management theek hai we have already seen that jo humne shuru mein philosophy ki baat ki ke they are more uh, organized they have more synergy towards uh, the management of resources they are more closer in determining if there any change is happening in environment so as we start looking into the perspectives ke ji आपका जो नेचर है इट इज़ बिकमिंग सो डायनामिक ठीक है ना आपके इन्वायरमेंटल चेंजेस स्पेस के साथ आपके चेंज हो रहे होते हैं इट इज़ बेसिकली द वेमेन हु कैन एक्चुअली सी देम हु कैन एक्चुअली फोर्स सी देम के व्हाट काइंड ऑफ चेंजेस आर कमिंग एंड दे कैन एक्चुअली हेल्प इन द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द रिसोर्स लेकिन जितना भी अभी तक हमने पढ़ा वी हैवेंट यूज द वर्ड जेंडर वी हैवेंट सेड के जी ओके वेमेन नीड्स टू बी कॉल फॉर द मीटिंग वैन वी आर डूइंग द पार्टिसिपेटिव प्लानिंग we just use the word stakeholders and if you see ke it's basically jo aapka macro ya macro level pe the way we handle things we feel ke ji women are basically the inhabitants of that four wall unka bahar ki duniya se koi pata unko nahi malum men knows much more about environment that's why sabse pehle jab aapko risk ki communication karni hai it should be the men and then it's a general thing that uh, you might have seen the moment our wale sahab ko koi baat pata chalti he has to tell his wife he has to tell your mother that okay this thing is happening what to do so the advisory role is always with the women but unfortunately it is undocumented unfortunately it is just taken informally unfortunately usko hum formalize karte hi nahi then जो डिजीज़ हो रही हैं जो बच्चों पे इंसिडेंस होता है ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स का इट्स द वेमेन हु आर एक्चुअली द इन द फर्स्ट लाइन मेन को तो पता नहीं चलता वॉट वी हैव दिस वॉट वी हैव सो फार थाट अबाउट इट दैट मैन हु आर मेकिंग मनी इट्स जस्ट देयर जॉब एंड बाय जस्ट ब्रिंगिंग मनी होम दे आर डूइंग देयर ड्यूटी वेल it's just one side of the story we don't count or we don't monetize what women are doing at home we don't monetize that uh, the services that they actually provide us yahi agar aap isko monetize karna start having a maid start having a washerwoman washerwoman washerman start having all these things jinko jo ke free pehle aap ko aapki walda ya aapki begum karke deti hain and then you would see that it is much more as compared to your salaries so therefore 
uh, that has to be brought into light. So therefore, uh, these gender and environment, they are very much closely related. Or when we women with gender, we will make an angel figure. We don't see. Or when you show the male, you always show him a muscular man with all that arrows and bazooka guns he's carrying just to show his machoism. But when you are showing the women, she is maybe she is carrying a flower, but a man he is carrying a gun. So, in our paintings, in our writings, ke bhi andar, you will see that we are doing discrimination. Kar jate uh, very fair, my favorite movies it used to be Harry Potter. Harry Potter ke andar, Hermione ko, uh, Hermione, yeah. I, Harry Potter ko we have seen, we have shown him as a man who just cares. Or the female character, we have made stupid, silly sa bana because we think that it's not in there. Later on, when uh, uh, the author was questioned and people started, the feminist scene, she also has an important role and then she changed her outlook. She was given some kind of advice. If you look at the last parts of Harry Potter, you would see that her role was changed ja because Feminists may argue kya, that women are not that stupid. So therefore, uh, the way we are groomed, the way we have been uh, assigned things in terms of roles and responsibilities, we have been uh, showed that women are to be kept separate. But that is wrong. We have to bring them into the policy process. We have to treat them equally. Or when we gender equality, ki baat karte hai, that is going to happen. Lastly, uh, these philosophers are right. If your environment is bad, then you will not treat women properly. Just the environment is bad, then women's status will be bad. Like they have made this linkage and I think that, that works very well. If we are talking about environmental conservation, environmental management, so we give them the policy roles, so that is going to be much better. In the corporate sector, if you see now Pepsi, Apka, Google, uh, Yahoo, all these women CEOs, they are proving to be really good. And uh, now people have started accepting it. We accepted our women prime minister. And uh, therefore, let's give them the challenging role. Let's give them the decision making. And uh, things are not going to be that worse. Or jo male machoism, that is not going to be questioned if women become into the uh, place of decision making. Uh, I'll uh, conclude it over here and uh, till the less, next lecture. Revise the old ones and uh, keep doing your, your assignments and your quizzes. Keep doing the good work and uh, look forward to see you in the next lecture. Thank you very much.